It's called a balanced diet, y'all. Cookies for breakfast. You want me to roll them or are you going to? a little louder. Yeah, <laughs> <shut up. laughs> oh, it's raining again today. Dolly, what do you think? Guess you don't have to go to the barn no more. All your litter mates are gone. Oh, busy day. What are we working on? Shop work. important we take our nutrition and our quality and our hay for our livestock and all our horsey clients um, we also one of the things I was working on for 2021 is a better um, eating habits for myself and for Jason because as farmers we just pack anything and everything in our lunchbox and I'm really really bad about just not eating if we aren't um, near the house and Carol's home to cook so a lot of times we just eat a lot of peanut butter and jelly and that gets old after a while. So my bestie um, actually changed company and while I didn't really know exactly what I was um, in for, she sent me some goodies and I'm really excited to share with you guys. So let me just get these pumpkin ice packs out of the way here. We'll save those for the kids farmer's market. So um, yesterday this came in and I didn't have time to really divvy into it, but um, I ordered some meals. Um, I really struggled um, with eating for a long time. Um, I did a fitness competition in 2017 and it took me two years to get there. And then I did it and it was this awesome thing and I ate healthy every single day and I worked out all the time. But since leaving my nine to five job that had the gym, like literally right down the office, I don't work out. I, I just work here. And um, my nutrition took a stumble, but we are going to try some of these freezer meals, ready to eat. And these look so good, guys. Like I'm starving right now. So we're gonna have these for lunch. This one is a grass-fed uh, top steak with home fries. and. Jason is really more awful about eating than I am because he just ate an oatmeal cream pie for breakfast and a soda. So I uh, got a bunch of these. There's chicken and this one's got mashed potatoes, mashed cauliflower and corn. So that looks delicious. And guess what guys? Uh, Jason is very picky, like extremely, extremely picky. They have cookies. So we can stockpile and put these um, they are good for five to seven days in the refrigerator, or you can store them in the freezer, which is what I plan to do, and then um, pop them in the microwave before we go to work, baling hay or whatever we're doing. So I'm excited to try these out. There is a link in the description below. If you guys want to order some, you can guys can use my code and get some discount on them. Try them out. Let me know what you think about them. Um, we'll check in at lunch and show you what they're about. butter chocolate chip cookies. What better way to start your day off than a cookie? And those are my favorite things, peanut butter and chocolate.
It's called a balanced diet, y'all. Cookies for breakfast. Dolly. You want to bite a cookie? Right now. <laughs> you want to bite? There we go. Almost as good as your oatmeal cream pie, huh? I just need to know what you want me to do here. Shoot right up. Let's up. I think it's just the angle that it is. Like if you can lift it, if we can figure out how to lift it up and over the the, the teeth, I think it's just kind of at an angle there. I think it's just the downward pressure.
Um, what's creaking? I don't know. Watch what You can talk about the bale skis now that it's all completely off. Oh, cool. I don't know if there's going to be enough room now. It's probably gonna be too thick. I have to roll it. Probably roll it my way. I want to stick this in there if we can. Roll it. Yep. Other way. All right. Might be too much. What? Might be too much. Okay. All right, let's stop there. Put your bar in. I'll just go down and load him real quick. I'll be right back. Pretty dull in there. Uh, you can see, like, I've already done the bottom set, but go from that to that. So, oh yeah. So, wow. But we have to reshim them now and just get them right there. So it'll make it bail a lot better. Oh yeah. So you don't want no trouble. Yeah. Either. See, see right there. We bailed twenty thousand sixty-five last year. Wow. So we set it, reset it every year. As long as you sell that me, that's okay. Oh, that's yeah, right. We're done. Yeah. We're all, we're I've only got probably max probably two fifty left right now. That's good. Yep. It's real good. Yep. Let's 
No, we I was actually headed this way, and my Amish buddy called me, and I was two miles down the road from him. He goes, my ride didn't show up this morning. I know you don't usually do anything on Saturday. <laughs> I said, I, it's not like I don't do anything on Saturday. Right, I right. just don't haul y'all on Saturday. No. I do all my farm work. Yeah. So my wife said, what are we going to do? I said, I'll haul him. Because I need gutters. He does gutters. So while we were talking, he goes, she goes, well, you know, this and that. And I said, well, you got to help these guys because they're going to help you mm -hmm. one of the days. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm going to need gutters. He goes, I said, how much gutters sound you gutters per foot? He said, well, you know, metal's going up. It's about 450 a foot. He goes, but, you know, you, you, you helped me in pinches before. Mm -hmm. I'll do yours for 350. Yeah. Well, that ain't much, but when you got mm -hmm. uh, 200 feet of guttering to do. It makes that, a difference. That's, yeah. that's $200. I said, well worth running over there doing that today for him. Right, right. So, now, that'll work. Oh, man. Goddamn. Are you gonna roll? Are you gonna roll them, or you want me to roll them? You want me to roll them, or are you going to? You're gonna roll them, okay? Sundays are for helping the neighbors. Good tunes now. Let me turn my radio on. Every once in a while. 